Okay, so we're here at the original lighthouse of the village. This is St. Mary. It's all done in copper. It's really beautiful actually. And then this one is St. Nicholas, which I think is even more beautiful. I really love that sculpture actually. And then here you go to the town. So now I will explain a little bit about this village. So the bottom part of the village was created after 1962 because a massive earthquake came through. So um, you will see there at the end of the row of the houses, you'll see there's a big gully coming through. I think that's where the earthquake came through. Then up there on the hill, that is actually the original village. There were only two families living down here on the coast when the earthquake struck in 1962. So that is the original village, Jane. That is where your... This just shows you um, the other side of the village. So that memorial that you see up there on the hill, that is the memorial to commemorate the earthquake of 1962. And it just shows you a bit further up the coast what it looks like. It's stunning actually, it's just absolutely stunning. Look at the colour of that water. Beautiful, huh? So we have come to the cemetery that we have been referred to. It shows you how close it is to the beach. It is literally here. So this apparently is where that anybody died prior to 1962 is buried off the village. So let's go and see what we can find. So here's one West Auckland family name that we all know. Nola. Nola Orchards. Out in Oratea in Auckland. So what do these names actually mean? The first O-B-I-T-E-L-J means family. So as you can see, what they do here in Croatia is they put a family plot together for each family, like a like a tomb. So we're going to go, we're here actually at the back of the church. We've come in through the back entrance, but nevertheless, and here you can just here see all the mountains around you yeah and so that village up there that you see where the next church is that's the old town wow what a spectacular spot to be buried eh wow wow look at this monument that obviously was a very substantial important person wow isn't that beautiful overlooking the sea Stunning. Two are a whole bunch of unmarked graves and I can see obviously from the date there 1843, 1845 that that is approximately when they have been used however those ones over there have been used and there is a surname Simich which obviously if you know me you know that I worked with a girl Sylvia Simich so maybe those are some of her family. There's quite a few simages actually um, in the cemetery. I found about four or five graves with that surname. So Sylvia, if you are watching, maybe this is a family connection for you. I have found the church that is now part of a hotel complex. It was 1804. 1804. So there's one of the buildings that survived the 1962 earthquake. Oh yeah, behind there you can see another building. And it's a private place of worship. Wow, that's lovely, isn't it? This is a section of the boulevard that actually survived the 1962 earthquake. So we have just been inside that archway. Gone and had a look at one of the original churches built out of 1804. And then here is the other side of the boulevard. Somebody will recognize those. Those are Phoenix Palms. 
Mark said that in Kataya they had those in the school grounds and he said if you got a ball in those your, your ball was instantly punctured when they were playing soccer at school. And here's another really nice uh, statue. I quite like this one. It's obviously of a must be a bishop but I like the way how he is facing facing the hills look at what he's looking at he is protecting the whole village because the original village is actually up there that's lovely isn't it symbolic but still very nice Um, this is the fishing port of the town, but I, don't, I think there's only two fishing boats still here, those two that you see there at the end, and uh, yeah, the rest of it I would all say is uh, recreational vehicles. And then over there, they have got a restaurant called Ahipara, but it is closed unfortunately, so... We can't go and introduce ourselves because Akipara is where Mark comes from. It's a tiny little town at the end, southern end of 90 Mile Beach in New Zealand and that's where Mark was born and has lived. Uh, his parents still live in the same house so oh, must be 50 years I think almost. <laughs> 